Guys, Monolith have just released the Shadow of War story trailer and oh my bright lord does it look absolutely incredible. I am super psyched, this game has got me so pumped and hyped. Now let's get into the trailer. Right off the bat guys, we see we got Shelob within the game. Those of you that were disappointed that the spiders were too small within game, you're going to get your giant spider fix with Shelob. Now she looks super cool, I love the character design they got for her, it looks kind of different to the movie but it does look incredible. Now we also see the lady with the black hair that we saw from the cinematic trailer. Now I couldn't tell if she was an elf or not because they keep never showing her ears, like just show her ears already Monolith, stop teasing us. But I'm pretty sure she is an elf because she seems pretty powerful. Now from this trailer I couldn't tell if she's manipulating Talion throughout the game. But this is what it totally seems like or she may be testing herself against the ring like Lady Gadriel does with Frodo within the movie. We also get a really good look at Sauron in this trailer, he's hair in the flesh with his legendary armour as well. And Sauron, my man is not messing around as he sets all the Nazgul's on Talion, can't wait to see this in the game. Now we also see a ring ray from the back of a flying beast, I wasn't too sure if this was a Nazgul because it doesn't really look like one, but maybe Monolith have just taken a different art direction with the Nazgul, but we will find out where it is, but I'm not 100% sure if it is a Nazgul, but we do see a ring ray flying around. Now like, I don't know what's going on here, but Talion has just raised an army of the dead, like, to have an army of the dead is just epic like no one's gonna stop him i think this is going to be only in a certain part of the story because that is way overpowered as we see in the movie when aragorn gets the army of the dead they just demolish everything there's no chance for the enemy side now this is going to be super cool in game i cannot wait to see how that plays out as well now guys those of you who are subscribed to my channel all i have to say is ent wife confirmed that lady who was a tree person in the cover art is an ent wife now she looks super incredible in the trailer now I don't know if Monolith owned the rights to call her an Ent Wife, but whatever they call her within the game, we do know that she is an Ent Wife, and somebody please, somebody please, tell Treebeard. Now we also see in the trailer that Talion has two human allies, which are both warriors. Now one is the guy that we see in the cover art and the cinematic trailer, who is standing on the right side of Talion, and there is also this new lady that we see fighting alongside Talion within the trailer. Now both of them seem like they're going to be loyal companions of Talion throughout the game. Now guys, we also get to see for the first time Talion riding a new type of drake. Now this drake seems like a forest drake to me since there's leaves all around it and it seems to be covered in branches. I think this drake is going to breathe something like poison ivy mist and I also believe it's going to be unlocked once we meet the ent wife. Also in the same scene it seems that we can fight using melee style with the drake and I'm not too sure what we are fighting, it looks like a baby barrel to me but I'm not too sure. There is also an orc in this trailer that calls out Talion to fight and it seems like he is possessed by green magic. Now this is giving me vibes of World of Warcraft but I'm not too sure why he is possessed but it is some sort of sorcery and could it be Saruman? Who knows, we will find out. Now we also see another badass warrior within this trailer. She's wearing what looks to be elven armour and using dual wielding blades to fight. She kind of reminded me of the female Legolas. I couldn't tell if she was an elf because I zoomed into the ears but the tips were still covered. She also had really powerful magic that helped Talion take on the ring graves and to be honest I cannot wait to see this character within the game. So guys, right at the end of this trailer I was thinking to myself, how are Monolith going to end this trailer after all this epicness? And what they do is give us even more epicness by showing a magnificent legendary Balrog for the first time. Now when I first saw it I thought it did look a bit small but to be honest it was heavily armoured and infused with fire and I believe this was going to be a super interesting boss fight within the game. So guys this was literally my first initial impressions of this story trailer. I literally watched it, got super excited and thought I have to make a video on this. And if you guys were on the fence about buying this game this will sure as hell tip you over. But anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video, if so stay tuned for future Shadow of War and gaming content and I thank you for watching.